Hi, this is FTT214. This is week three, assignment two. This week we'll be cutting in the borders of our checkering lab, as well as doing the master lines. Uh, so there's three phases of this. You get to see the pattern before, you get to see me cutting the border, and then you'll get to see me cutting the master line. So a uh, couple of additions to the shop for this week. I uh, went to Harbor Freight and picked this up for $6.99. I meant to say $6.99, I don't remember. It's like less, it's less than 10 bucks. okay? Um, I picked this size specifically because it fits this perfectly inside of here. So what I'm gonna, going to do, rather, is use this as my uh, checkering cradle. And for probably less money and less time and everything else, I'll show you. You can create a near perfect checkering cradle that you can adjust and turn and use. And all you have to do is close it into your vise. And now I have the checkering cradle how I want to use it. And uh, with the master vise, I can adjust this however I want. So like if this works good for me right here, uh, that should work and I can spin it and use it just how you would any other checkering, uh, checkering vise. So once you get it squared away. Second thing I added was this light. So we'll be able to light our project um, the way that we want. So we can adjust that. So we'll be able to cut off the lights, work like this, and it has the additional benefit of having the magnifying glass. So I don't have to wear like a goofy headlamp, you know, not pointing or naming any names. So um, either way, we're gonna go through here. Uh, we're gonna check the border. I'm going to cut in the border uh, using this tool right here. It's just a utility blade with a round head. Came in a precision knife kit set um, that had a bunch of different shaped blades or whatever. And then I'm just gonna use that round bellied edge to kind of go around it. And then uh, once we do that, we'll cut in the master lines and that will be it for this week. So thanks a lot. Bye. All right, so I'm going to start by cutting in this outside border. My plan is that this line, the, everywhere that's yellow is going to be a double line that's a known distance apart from each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the outside line and then um, probably one side of the swirls. And then when I remove the sticker, I will use the double tool in order to cut. Um, I'll basically run one side, well, let me show you. So one of the tools the school sends us is, uh, let's see, it's a single one, is this tool here. Might be able to use my magnifying glass to kind of show you a little bit better here. So this tool here has two, two lines in it, if you can see that. So what I'm going to be doing is um, you run one in the line and the other one creates a new line. However, this one cuts two lines at once. And that's really not what we need when we've already cut one. So luckily, um, in a tool set that I purchased at a yard sale, actually, I received these two tools, which are mirror images of each other, but uh, one side, I don't know how well you can see that, one side of it is smooth, and the other side is, um, is cutting, so I can run uh, the smooth side in the part that I've already cut and then use the other one to cut the new spot and These are reversed. So there's a left and a right so that I can do it on either side without having to flip everything around um, Another tool that I'll be using is this little short guy here, which is um, to give you an idea uh, So this is a little longer and then this one's a little shorter. It'll allow me to make those kind of tinier uh, inside angles. 
And uh, finally, we'll be using, we have two different cutters here. Uh, I believe it's a 90 and a 60. Uh, but either way, what we're going to be doing, uh, oh no, it's a coarse and a fine, that's what it is. So we have a coarse cutter and a fine cutter. Um, and I feel like after having kind of looked at these, I mean, this is the one the school sends us. And then the one in this set here, Okay, so these three next to each other, if you're looking at these three, this is the one that school sends us. These are the two that I have here with the coarse and the fine. And you look at this one and it just looks like a caveman made it compared to these ones. So I'm definitely gonna go with these to try and give myself a bit more of a uh, professional finish. Um, if you're curious, if you're curious, this was the set right here, Dem Bart Gunstock Checkering Toolkit. So um, if you want to look at that, and it's called the Master Set or whatever. Uh, tools for the Exacting Gun Craftsman, which is, that's totally me, I'm the Exacting Gun Craftsman. So, so what we're going to do first is just cut these outside lines. Uh, so this will be in fast motion while I do this. And I'm, and I'm not trying to cut right now. I'm actually just trying to create a groove that will be easier for my um, tool to fall into. So um, just be real careful and here we go. Now comes the nerve wracking part, right? So here we go. You know, I've been going at this thing for 20, 30 minutes now. And what I've realized is some of my tight curls are just not possible to get with this. And so against my better judgment and the fact that I'm almost guaranteedly going to screw this up, I'm going to um, get some of these tight curves with a rotary tool. So we'll see. We're gonna go ahead and do the um, master lines. And then I'm gonna remove the sticker and work on the interior part of the border.
Okay, so we're finished with this week. I am satisfied with where we ended up. We have our double border cut around the whole thing and we've got our swirls and we got our master lines. Now, uh, here's my lessons for this week. One, you should probably order another set of tools besides the one the school sends you. Okay, school sends you, it's just super, super aggressive. Uh, you're not gonna get a lot of detail and it cuts real deep. I did use it to kind of go over the master lines but uh, they're relatively cheap. This tool set that I got, I like, Tembart. So uh, that's number one. Number two, don't do swirls. It just makes life way, way, way harder, okay? Uh, the tools are designed to move back and forth in a straight line. So when you're trying to cut radiuses and round parts, it makes it real real difficult i'm assuming that there's another tool out there that's meant for cutting that type of checkering uh, i'm looking forward to doing the actual checkering because doing the border was such a pain in the butt uh, because of all the swirls but my checkering is at least straight so um so if you're taking this course and you're doing this and you're just going to use the tools that the school sends you use a simple pattern straight lines straight edges and you'll be good if you're going to go elaborate at all or plan on doing this in the future at all order yourself your own set of tools they are they cut way nicer they were way less aggressive um, i still think i'm going to be able to turn out a relatively decent product in the end i'm not super happy with the way this looks right now but I'm hoping that once I get the checkering in and kind of start smoothing everything out, um, that will do really good. I do, let's see if you can see that double border right there. That double border does look real nice. Um, it's super easy to get a little aggressive and skip a line and especially on the radius is because like I said, they're designed to go straight. So when you're trying to go around a bend, it just wants to go straight. Um, I did notice right here, I wet my finger and was trying to wipe off something that was on the scuff. And when I did, it kind of, my finger oil kind of filled in the back part right there and it started to look a little bit better. And I'm like, well, maybe once we oil this whole thing kind of It'll hide some of those little scratches and nicks and whatnot. Most of my parts where I kind of went outside of the line a little bit went into the pattern and into a spot that's going to get cut out anyway. So overall, I'm going to count this week as a success. We showed you with before with the sticker on there with the pattern. We did our borders. We actually did a double border. And then we did our master line. So that being said, have a good rest of your week. And uh, good luck, everybody that's taking this course. Thanks. Bye.